All right, here's something interesting. I pulled out the old Tesla coil circuit. It's it's not a perfect thing at all. Uh, inside, it's set up pretty well. The primary coils, eh, obviously, you can tell it's just hand done. <laughs> okay, so what I've done is uh, essentially I'm using the primary coil. I've just disconnected my connection here, and I've placed uh, the two neodymium magnets together. Uh, like poles together obviously and I'm just placing it underneath here now I've noticed something interesting and I'm going to turn the lights off here um, I, I, I've only done this little test twice, but I thought it was worth recording <clears throat> All right, so let's turn the lights off and I'm going to turn the circuit on And now you can see that it's just a single Just a single uh, arc. That's all it is so with this circuit running right now, it's just a single arc. Okay, now, let's go ahead and put the magnet underneath here. So we've put the magnet straight underneath. These things are as level as they can be. Let me change it. Uh, stop messing with it, Dom. Come on. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's see if that works. All right, so we saw that the uh, it was a constant stream, a single stream, beforehand. I haven't tested to see what the polarity of this side of the magnet is, but when I turned it on, you'll see two distinct streams here. This video does not do it justice. But you'll see a total difference there. Yeah, shoot, lost the arc. Let's try it again. I'm gonna try and take some picture of it instead. 